Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Bix Colleen from Andor. So like I've said before, I loved Andor. I thought the entire cast was great and Audrey Arjona did a great job as Bix, both pre and post torture. And I think the figure looks nice. And of course it comes in the plastic free packaging, Star Wars The Black Series up top. You've got a render of Bix, that looks nice. And we have Star Wars Andor and Bix Colleen. On this side of the box, you've got Star Wars The Black Series up top. Then you have a picture of what's inside. So you get Bix and the two pieces of her data pad. Bix stands at 5.6 inches tall. Then you have plastic free packaging there. There's the side with the artwork. Great picture. I love this color for Andor. There's nothing on the top. Bottom is the barcode, logos, and some itty bitty print. And there's the back of the box. Same picture as the front. You have just a rundown of the show in five different languages. Bix is number five in this Andor line. Then you have all this crap down there. All right, I'm going to get Bix Colleen open and let's take a look at her. Okay, so here is Bix Colleen out of the box and let's take a close look at her. We'll start up top and I am liking this face. I think they did a pretty good job. I mean, it may not be spot on to the actress, but it's very close. I think the eyes look good, nose, mouth, the skin tone is great. It's not shiny, okay? I think overall, it's a good looking face. The hair is very nice. <laughs> I think they did a good job on these braids. Yeah, just the overall sculpt of the hair is just, yeah, it's nicely done. Yeah, from the neck up, I'm liking this. And as far as the outfit, I think this is pretty much how we saw her in Andor, at least for a few episodes, but all the detail in this top it's just nice. All the wrinkles look good. It's a cool texture. You have this little symbol there. I don't know what that is, but it looks good. It's a shame the hair's in the way, but it is there, and I like the look of it. Shoulders look good. Got some nice detail there. The back, again, all the wrinkles look good. All the lines, and again, it's a cool texture. Got this little sash back here, and they've sculpted it to make it look like it's tied. Yeah, that looks good. And the arms are just white and gray, but again, sculpted details are there. Hands look good. Yeah, left arm is pretty much the same thing. Now the belt, I am loving this belt. And I'm so glad that they painted all these tools. Yeah, this, looks, this looks good right here. It's a cool texture. The buckle looks very nice. Got some nice silver paint. And the belt just goes around. Yeah, it's a good looking belt. And this here hanging down, nice wrinkles. And the skirt, once again, very cool texture, nice detail throughout, nice wrinkles, nice folds. You have this there. I guess they could have painted that. I don't know what that is, but it looks like it could be a different color, but it's okay. And the back, you know, it looks like that. Some nice folds, and again, very cool texture. And the legs, so the legs are trapped in here. And I'll get to that very soon, but the legs are totally trapped. But they are, you know, just a dark gray color, you know, the pants, but again, Great detail. The wrinkles look good. Yeah. Cool pants and the boots. I'm loving these boots. Again, great texture. Some nice wrinkles. The top, the sole. Yeah. Very nice boots from head to toe. It's a good looking figure. And let's take a look at articulation on Bix. So the hair is nice and flexy. So you've got some great side to side at the head. She's got some very good down. Some pretty good up and some pretty good tilt. The arms get up that far and they can rotate all the way around. She has single elbows and they both get just a little past 90. Not bad. She has a swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. She has an up and down hinge on the right hand and a side to side hinge on the left. As far as midsection, she's got some swivel. She has a touch of crunch, some very good back, but it does gap a little bit and some very good side to side tilt. And now legs, okay. Legs are trapped. This right here, this brown bit, is pretty stiff. The skirt is pretty stiff. So legs up, no. Legs out, only to about right there. They don't go back very far. She, she does have a swivel at the thigh, as well as a swivel at the knee. She's got a single knee that gets up that far. Feet go down to there, they go up to there, and there is some swivel at the ankle. So Bix has pretty good articulation in the head, in the arms, and in the midsection, but the legs, no, not so much. But I think for the most part, I'm just gonna have her standing on the shelf, maybe just holding her data pad, so I'm fine with it. And speaking of data pads, there it is, and it does look pretty good. It's very yellow. It probably should have been weathered a little bit, but it's okay. Um, you've got some black paint here and there. The screen, I'm thinking that is a sticker, but it's okay. The strap, it's there. 
There is some sculpted detail on the buckle there. No paint anywhere. And that's what the back looks like. You know, just some more detail. You could probably do a dark wash on this thing and make it look a little more weathered and bring out all these lines. That would look great. Uh, but overall, it's, it's an okay accessory. I'm not sure what they would have put with Bix. I mean, I don't think she fired a blaster in the show. So, I mean, if anything, they could have given her some extra tools. But eh, it's fine. It's okay. This thing does come apart. Now, this bit right here, is extremely soft and the handle is very soft. I really, really wish that they would make weapons and tools or whatnot out of a more rigid plastic because this thing does just bend all over the place. It's unfortunate. It does stay, but just be mindful. That is really bendy right there. Uh, get in there. There. All right. But yeah, that's what the data pad looks like. And if you want to have Bix just holding this part, it goes in the hand very well. Now, with the handle being so soft, you have to really spread the fingers out because the fingers are pretty tight. So if you just try to push the thing in there, the handle's just going to flex all over the place. So I had to bend the fingers out, then put it in, and then the fingers went. So yeah, but that's what that looks like. She does hold that pretty well in the left hand. And she can hold the other piece in the right hand pretty well um, if she's just looking at it. That looks pretty good. Now, the strap is pretty rigid, so if you want it to look like it's like hanging because of gravity, you can turn it like that, and that looks pretty good. And you can do something like this. So she does have a trigger finger, so you know, with the finger out, it kind of looks like she's like pushing buttons or whatever. And I think that looks pretty good. You know, kind of looks like she's using the thing. Yeah, this is not a bad look right here, actually. So I'm gonna go stick her on the shelf and let's see what she looks like there. And here we are, and I think she looks good on the shelf. I think she's a good height. You know, Bix was not super tall, so you can see how she scales with Cassian and Luthen. It's a very nice looking figure. So bottom line, I think it's a great looking figure. Super happy I picked this up. I think the face, you know, the more I look at it, I like it. I think the outfit's good. The data pad, it's fine. Again, I don't know what else they would have put with Bix, except maybe some extra tools. But yeah, the data pad's cool. And I think her just holding it and, you know, kind of with her right hand on the screen like she's using it. That gets a pretty good look, but yeah, the outfit is just great. I am very happy with this figure, but I want to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of Bix Colleen from Andor. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you all next time.